Hi everybody, thank you so so much for being willing to help uh, with this testing. I'm not going to take too much of your time. If you come here and you see more than five people have done something, just go away. I don't need that many people. I've put your names over here. I've put some pages over here. There may be a few more by the time you get here. Um, if you click the first page, um, it'll open and you'll see uh, the home page here. And the goal of this page is to get people who are Nepali to click on Nepali. I don't know how to do that. Um, I guess I could somehow find ways to do script and see if they can recognize the word Nepali in script, but then some of these other students won't even, there isn't even script for them. So I tried to put a map in here. Anyway, so let's assume that they can recognize the word Nepali and they know that this means that they're having to click somewhere mm -hmm. and they click on it. This is a little tour I haven't made yet. It's just for position only. This is a narration of the tour. Since the tour will be silent because it's got to work for all students, here's the schools that uh, they got to pick. They got to figure out which one of these is closest to them and pick it. This is an introduction to the uh, test. All these words uh, will go away because they're only going to listen to this um, and then know that they have to click the start button. Uh, that's pretty much going to be it. And uh, this will be a whole bunch of numbers uh, over here, all the questions. Right now we just have a few because we haven't put too many in yet. Um, this is where they've got this demographics area. I want them to be able to write the name of their school and the place that says school. I know I have to put a bullet there. I wanted them to write their grade here. This is optional. Um, and uh, then at the end of demographics, they have to click and go to the next thing. Uh, now this is the section starter for circles that tells them that they're doing circles. Um, they've got to sort of match this by eyeball to where they are on the survey. Where's my PDF uh, show? So it says this section one, think about the classroom where you've done the most circles this year. They should look over here and say, oh, those are the same. That must be where I am. And now they're, I feel I'm listening to doing RP circles. Here are the numbers. I feel I'm listening to doing RP circles and their job is to just fill in because they can figure out from here what they're looking at or the number one might be significant for them. Um, but unfortunately, uh, there wasn't enough time to talk to the uh, everyone on the team and come up with exactly what should be said here. So pretty much what's being said is what's on the test, I mean on the survey. Uh, so I don't know how to make the website make it clear what to do without being able to redo a lot of translations and that's what I need your help with. How can I make things simpler? What kind of images? What kind of taking things away that they don't need to see? Give me that feedback please if you would. Now the way you give that is supposing I go to the home page and I say I don't like the picture. Um, I go and click the comment button. Do you see where that is here? Uh, no that's I'm sorry that's comment history. Uh, I go insert comment which is control, Apple con, option M, or I could just click this button right here, that's also insert comment, and I can say uh, make map image smaller, and then when I go and look at this sheet, I'll see this little orange uh, puppy right there, and that lets me know there's a comment to look at. Um, so you're not going to see uh, anything but little puppies. Um, hopefully when you're done with yours, you've put a little puppy somewhere, so we know you're done and we know we've had enough people giving feedback. I may add a couple more uh, pages here. Um, it's very late. I've been working very hard. If you have any further questions, you have an email from me, please write back and ask. And I'll write back to everybody if I think it's a question that everybody needs to get the answer to. Again, I'm going to be looking for your feedback on Friday morning. And the goal at this point is just how do we make this convey what the students need to do without words. Thank you so much, everybody from UVM.